Welcome to Friendship Field. We are working so hard to bring in the harvest. It's that time of year where all of us farmers get out in the field and work night and day to bring in our crops. But here at Friendship Fields, there's something else we're working hard on. And that is seeing our friends learn about Jesus. Now I hope you brought your farming tools, your gloves, your rakes, your shovels, because we have some work to do. Now while we're working, we are going to be talking about all about how to be the very best, oh, you guessed it, friend that we can be. Amigo. Bestie. Bruh. Buddy. Partner. Grab a friend and let's get started. Hey, this year's harvest has been awesome and we are so thankful. It has been worth every bit of all the hard work that we've had to do because when you bring in the harvest and you see your hard work pays off, it just gives you a really good feeling and you're thankful for it. And that is what we're gonna be talking about this month, thankful. We're gonna give thanks and that comes from the word thanksgiving. And Thanksgiving is a time in America where that in the month of November, we have a special day that we start thinking about all the things that we are thankful for. And we just kind of focus on it that month. We're thankful for our friends and thankful for the harvest, thankful for our families, thankful for all the blessings that the Lord has given us, thankful for the church, and we're thankful for our friends. That's you. And we're thankful we can bring our friends to church with us so they can meet the best friend, Jesus. So, you ready? Let's go see what we're gonna do today. Let's look in the Farmer's Almanac to see what happened last week. Oh yes, that's right. We learned to be a friend to everyone, even those who weren't very popular. We need to stay close to Jesus every day by reading our Bibles and praying. All right, let's get back to work. No more lala gagging around here. Hey, Junior Farmers. Thank you for joining me out here in the fields today. But, you know, we truly have so much to be thankful for. It's, it's like Farmer Julie said earlier. We, we are most thankful for one friendship in particular. Who is it? It's our friendship with Jesus. Now, we've already learned that we grow closer to him by spending time with him. But now, I have harvested a lot of scriptures today so we can see a few of the reasons why we should be thankful for our friendship with Jesus. That way, we can keep a heart that's full of thanks. Now, are you ready? Are you sure? <laughs> okay, let's get started. Here's one. Oh, this is a good one. John chapter 15 and verse 15 says, No longer do I call you servants, but I have called you friends. Jesus calls you and me his friend. How amazing is that? That the God who created everything wants to be our friend. He calls us his friend. That's definitely something to be thankful for, don't you think? Now, there are so many good things for friends of Jesus. And one thing is that he will take care of us. He will be our provider. Whoop. It says so right here in the scripture. It's Philippians chapter 4, verses 19. It says, And my God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. If there's something that we really, really need, not just a want, we can pray and ask our friend Jesus and he will help us. Now, I hope this one doesn't fall. We should be thankful for those. You know, he helps us because he cares for us. Now, take, take a look at this verse I harvested. 1 Peter chapter 5 and verse 7 says, Casting all your cares upon him or putting all your care upon him, for he cares for you. 
He cares about you. He cares about me. And that's something to be thankful for too. He cares about what's going on in your life and he cares if you're happy or if you're sad. Jesus cares about you. The Bible even says that he cares so much about us that he knows how many hairs are on your head. That's pretty amazing. I don't even know how many hairs I have. He cares so much about you that he hears you when you pray to him. He listens every single time. He's never too busy. He's always there waiting to hear us when we pray. And I'm so, so thankful for that. I know that he's always there with me anytime that I need him. Being Jesus's friend just makes our life better. Now here's another scripture. 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verses 4 and 5 says, I thank my God always concerning you for the grace of God, which was given to you by Christ Jesus, that you were enriched in everything by him. Now enriched means better. So everything is better because of him. And one of the most important reasons, now are you listening? Turn your ears up. One of the most important reasons why we should be thankful for our friendship with Jesus is because he loves us so much and he cares for us so much that he died for us. Romans chapter five and verse eight says, but God demonstrates his own love toward us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. He cared for us so much that God came to earth and he died on a cross so that our sins can be taken away. That's how much he loves us. Whoa. Jesus is the ultimate friend and he wants to be ours. I think that is a lot to be thankful for, don't you? So why don't we just worship Jesus together and tell him how very thankful we are for him. Will you do that with me? Jesus, we're so thankful that you want to be our friend, that you love us so much and you care for us, that you're always there to listen to our prayers, to listen to us, and they're, they're always there for us, and that you will help us and you'll be with us. And we're so thankful that you died on a cross to save us from our sins. And Lord, we just worship you and thank you and give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen.
Wow, God calls me his friend, even the little of me. Let's learn our verse from the harvest today. Matthew 19, 14. Let the little children come to me and do not forbid them. Hey there, junior farmers. I heard that there were gonna be gifts around here and you sure don't wanna miss that. Until then, don't forget to give a thankful heart all week. Hmm, I wonder what I should give a farmer. Mm, a shovel, a crate. Oh, I know, a nice hat that'll keep the sun out of his face.